This story kind of sucks. Hoonigan. They just filed for bankruptcy, citing $1.2 billion in debt. I, I just, how? For the longest time. What is up guys? Welcome on back to TK's Garage. And one of the things that I hear about a lot is, you know, what's going on with the automotive space on YouTube, right? Is it failing? Not so much. A lot of these brands or a lot of the things that you see that started out just like us, just individuals with a YouTube channel that became huge brands like Hoonigan, which was Ken Block's, rest in peace, uh, brand, and ended up getting acquired by private equity in 2021 is very similar to what we've seen with companies like Donut Media. And most of those people that worked at Donut have left. They're all going to do their own things, their own channels, their own um, ideas, and they basically built those channels. And instead of being employees, have decided to become creators themselves. So could Donut Media possibly see the same issues as Hoonigan? Maybe. Let's talk about Hoonigan first, and then I'll get into the, the Donut Media mess. So I saw this over at Road and Track. They did an article on it. Um, they basically said that Hoonigan, the, the clothing company and lifestyle brand founded by Ken Block, has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. The company, which has been rolled into an existing aftermarket wheel company owned by private equity, Clear Lake Capital, is attempting to discharge $1.2 billion in debts and raise up to $570 million in new capital. When it was founded, Hoonigan was effectively Ken Block's lifestyle company. The brand may have been best known for the Hoonigans, a YouTube channel with 5.73 million subscribers. That version of Hoonigan was rolled into a high-profile merger with aftermarket wheel company Wheel Pros. Ken Block sadly died in 2023, about 16 months after the merger occurred. Much of the YouTube channel's talent left over the course of the next year and a half. Because see, this is one of the biggest problems that is happening with Donut Media, and Hoonigan. I mean, you can go through the, the different companies that have been picked up by private equity. Private equity doesn't understand the creation process or what it is that you guys come back to all of our automotive channels every single day for. A lot of you guys come back, because, at least on my channel, because you like my perspective and when I do the news or if you're on my second channel on TK's Garage too, because you like to see the auction stuff and watching me puke in a nasty RV or whatever the hell it is that's going on, right? A lot of you guys come back for us, the actual creator, on a regular basis and private equity doesn't get that they don't understand the creative process and what it is that you guys actually take your time to tune in for every single day and uh unfortunately over the last you know year and a half after uh hoonigan got acquired a lot of that on-screen talent left some created their own channels some went to go do their own things and um that kills off a brand, basically. Like, it would be like if I took, if TK's Garage tomorrow starts featuring, you know, just other people and I'm never back on camera again, the channel would significantly suffer because there would be a lot of people that tune in to see me or hear me talk about the news or different things that we're talking about every single day wouldn't watch because I'm not here anymore. And... That, uh, that's just really what's going on. And now with this now, it's crazy because some, uh, I, I didn't even know this, but Hoonigan now where it got, you know, packaged in with, uh, wheel pros, uh, Hoonigan who got packaged in with wheel pros, 
literally has like American, I think it's, is it American Force? Uh, like there's, a, there's literally a ton of wheels. If you're in the truck game and you have a lifted truck you and you have special wheels on your truck, more than likely out of those wheel brands, Fuel, for example, which I had on the Tahoe back in the day and the Suburban, um, a lot of these wheel brands are owned by this and are part of this bankruptcy. Getting back into the historical part of the company, um, all of the businesses under Wheel Pros were rebranded under the Hoonigan name in October of 2023. The modern version of the company includes Wheel Pros brands like TSW, here we go, American Racing, Rotiform, and other major auto, uh, automotive aftermarket suppliers. The combined company has a staggering $1.75 billion in debts, according to the filing with the court, including the $1.2 billion that the bankruptcy is expected to eliminate. The bankruptcy does not necessarily mark the end of this iteration of Hoonigan. However, the company's press release calls the move a strategic transaction that will help strengthen financial foundation and support long-term growth. I guess we'll see what happens. I'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like what I do and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I, I just, I guess my closing part on this is the very same thing that we've seen with Donut Media. Are they next? I mean, every time there are creators there or people that, that get traction over the last couple of years, you know, they kind of build up, the audience ends up getting a connection with them and then they, they leave, they go do their own thing, which I personally agree. I, I just, I've never understood working as on-screen talent for somebody else's YouTube channel. Just never made sense to me. Just do your own thing. I think Doug DeMiro said it best. Like, he's excited to see that these guys are doing their own thing and being able to run their own company, being able to run their own creative process. But um, I could see it. I could see Donut Media getting into trouble. I mean, you you've, if you look at the numbers, and you're, you're an analytics guy, and you look at the numbers with YouTube, right, you'll see that subscribers are down at Donut Media. They're either at zero or they're gaining nothing. Uh, the views are still there because I think some people still watch the content, right? It's just bubble, I call it like bubblegum format automotive YouTube. Like it's, you know, it has a specific storyboard and they go by that same storyboard every time and do their thing, uh, which is fine. It's perfectly fine. I'm just hoping that the private equity company has learned its lesson after losing some of these major creators and, uh, Let's people have a little bit more control over the creative process and let people that are there now create what they want to create so that the channel can be successful. Just my two cents. Not that it matters. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And as always, stay petty, my friends.